on March 9, 2011. This is polling you number 50. Welcome, Bridge friends. It's Michael here at Bridge Hands, and we're going to do slam bidding day 10. And what we're going to do today is have something a little bit more advanced. A lot of you have been waiting for the more advanced methods for slam bidding. I know some of you play 1430 Roman Keycard Blackwood. Those of you who don't, aren't interested, this will be an appreciation course. Don't let us scare you away. But for those of you who like the convention, want to know more about the convention, whether you're curious, or just want to pick up a couple tips, well, here we go. So let's begin with a little review and see how RKC 1430 fits into our Blackwood convention. Well, you'll recall that we spoke about the Blackwood for No Trump convention being used when we had strength and shape or when we don't have so much strength, but we have the shape and the controls, a lot of suit distribution, we can use it there. So the Minor Wood Convention is another convention we spoke about. That was where we used the four club or four diamond to ask for aces. So now we're going to take a look at another variation where we can use Roman Key Card 1430 Blackwood for both replacement of our regular Blackwood as well as Minor Wood. And today we'll focus on the major suit slams, it would work just the same way with the minor suit in minor wood if you chose to use that. All right, so you'll recall, when do we ask for aces? Well, we certainly want to have enough points. You'll recall it requires a lot of points to make a slam. We'll speak about that in a minute. But the person who asks normally has controls in each of the side suits. So we have a ace in a suit. Great, that's a control. Avoid. You betcha, a control. A king-queen, sure, a second round of control is great. A singleton, another second round of control. A king and some others, well, that works. As long as the lead comes around to us, fine, we can initiate it. But when we have these suits like a jack-third, a queen-ten, or even a queen-jack-ten missing two controls, we don't like to be asking because the opponents could conceivably peel off their ace and king in a suit. We don't make it, even though we have shape in the other suits. If partner has a doubleton and we have these types of holdings, not good, not going to make the slam. In that case, we would do what? We would Q-bid our controls. We'll go into that a little bit more. Another situation is we have to be sure that we don't have a double count situation. So if we have a void in a suit and our partner maybe has an ace in a suit, well, that's not going to help us because we're not sure which ace the partner is holding. Is it an ace of spades, an ace of hearts, ace of diamonds, ace of clubs? We don't want to be doing an ace ask when we have a void. All right, let's take a look at some of the shortcomings of Blackwood. Not that they're always a problem, but we're going to take a look at some advantages of the 1430 RKC Blackwood bid. First of all, the Trump King. We like to know about the Trump King, and we don't want to have to wait to the sixth level. If we can know the status of the Trump King at the five level, that's a good thing. Gives better information to see if we even want to pursue a slam or a grand slam. Next, the Trump Queen. Well, sure, that's important also, isn't it? The status is always a mystery when we're playing traditional Blackwood, so it would be nice to know about that after four no Trump also. Hmm. And then the double count quandary. So if we're missing the king and the queen, that's going to be a problem. We might be double counting a side suit where we'd really prefer to have the trump, king, or queen. These are some of the advantages we'll find with the 1430 Roman key card Blackwood convention. All right, for an introduction, the prerequisites. Well, of course, as we do with any type of Blackwood, no worthless doubleton or voids. We want to have a suit agreement. We're not playing a no trump contract. One player will be with a self-sustaining suit is fine. We could do a jump, so it may not be where is as much of a suit agreement where someone has made a big bid, like a strong jump shift. And what are the requirements? Well, 12 tricks for a small slam, of course. Distribution points, 33 or more. The grand slam, all 13, requires all four aces, and hopefully all four kings. Sometimes three would be enough if we have adequate distribution and we like 37 or more distribution points. So how about for RKC 1430? What's this all about? Well, we have a revised technique when we ask for aces. For no trump is still the invoking bid, but we now have not four aces, but we have five, we call them controls or key cards. 
Let's take a look at those. Well, of course, we have one control, one key card for each ace. But now we have a fifth one. The trump king we consider very valuable as well. So we get one control for each ace, one, two, three, four, and one control for the trump king. That makes five. The status of the trump queen is also determined at the five level. We'll get into some details on that and some important guidelines to think about when bidding slam or grand slam using these new methodologies. We do not bid six hearts or six spades a slam when we're off two keys. Remember the keys? The four aces and the trump king. We didn't know the status about the trump king with the four no trump response with traditional Blackwood, but this 1430 Roman key card Blackwood, yes, we're going to find out how that works. Another time not to bid six hearts or six spades when we're off one key and the trump queen. Well, sure, that makes sense, doesn't it? So if we're missing the trump queen and don't have the king, or we're missing a side suit ace, that's a big caution, isn't it? We don't want to explore Grand Slam when we're off even one key. We're obviously missing an ace, that's no good. If we're missing the Trump King, that's a problem also. So these are some of the real benefits we see by using the 1430 Roman key card Blackwood. All right, so how does this all work? Well, there's two styles. One is considered the 1430 style, and about 70 or 80% of duplicate bridge players like to use this style. The other style is the, sometimes it's called just RKC, a Roman key card, Blackwood. Others call it the 3014 style. These two numbers pertain to the step responses. So when four no trump is invoked, the response of five clubs playing 1430 style shows one or four. Get it? The first step, one or four. That's 14. And if we have three or zero keys, hmm, zero would be no aces, no trump king, we would bid five diamonds. It would be one or the other. If we have two without the trump queen, we bid the third step. Hey, that's just like Blackwood. In Blackwood, we have two, we bid five hearts. But this time, we deny the trump queen. And if we have two with the trump queen, then we bid five spades. We make the highest step. If you play the 3014 style, or RKC, some people call it, just exchange these first two. So rather than the first step being one or four, the first step is three or zero. And the second step is one or four. The last two steps work the same. All right, well, how about the initiator of four no trump? They should be aware of the keys based upon the prior bidding. We'll look at some examples of those, but in other words, if we take a look at these, they all have a skip of three, don't they? They have three steps up, so the difference is going to be 11 or 12 points. We should be able to tell the difference between one or four, a difference of three. That's either three aces, that's 12, or it's two aces and a king, that's 11. If we're going to initiate Blackwood, we ought to be aware of where that many points are. If not, well, this is not the convention for you if you don't know where 10 or 11 points are when you're asking for aces. But I think you will. You'll pick up on this very quickly, as you'll see. Okay, how about the responses then? Remember, five clubs? Yes, that was one or four. We're gonna be talking about the 1430 style today. Incidentally, I will say is that if you like the RKC version, well, good, you're right in tune with the creator, Eddie Cantor, some years ago came up with this convention and he went with the other version, the RKC version, which is the 3014 style. But we're gonna do what most people do, the 1430 style today, so that's what you'll be seeing. So the first step, five clubs in response to four no trump is one or four. The next was three or zero, two without, two keys without the trump queen, and lastly, five spades, two keys with the Trump Queen. How about some of those others? Do you remember some of the other responses we had in traditional Blackwood where there's a void? Well, they still work the same way here. So if we have an even number of keys and we think our void is useful, then we bid an even number. We bid five no Trump. 
if we have an odd number of keys, right? What are the keys? The four aces and the trump king? Then we bid oddly. So we would bid six level. If we had, say, three keys and a useful void in clubs, we would bid six clubs. An odd number, three, and a void in a useful suit, a suit that has not been bid by our partner. Okay, it's time to take a look at some actual examples. Here we go. One spade by ourself. Our partner goes for no trump. Well, our partner's got a very big hand, don't they? We can tell that right away. We bid five diamonds, plain 1430 style. I'll give you a moment to think about that. First step was one or four, correct? Next step is three or zero. How many key cards do we have? Well, we're going to have zero, right? Our partners made this huge bid to four no trump. We're not going to have three. We're going to have zero, or else why is our partner asking when they're so few in aces? You'll recall that the person who asks should have pretty much all of the keys to make that bid. So I think we have zero at this point in time. And our partner apparently does not have our four keys, right? Because there are five keys. Our partner does not have enough, and they're going to go ahead and just sign off in this case. Five spades, a sign off. All right, let's try another. One heart by herself. Our partner goes for no trump. We go five clubs. The first step, we have one or four. Our partner now does five diamonds. Well, what's this all about? We have one or four. Do we have the trump queen? You'll recall that if we bid five hearts, five spades, we said whether or not we didn't or did have the trump queen. In this case, though, when we say we have one or four, obviously one, and our partner goes five diamonds, they're saying, do you have the trump queen? Another method to ask. So if we go the first step, the smallest increment, we do not have it. If we have the second step, five spades, yes, we have it. So five diamonds says, do you have the trump queen? The first step, nope, I don't have it, five hearts. Fortunately, you'll notice that that also allows our partner to sign off in five hearts. And we make the big step. That means, yes, we better have it. We're going to a point of no return if it's hearts because we're going beyond five hearts. All right. Next, one spade by herself for no trump by partner. We go five spades. Five spades, you recall what that is? That would be two with the trump queen. And then our partner goes five no trump. They're saying, okay, I guarantee we have all five keys, and yes, you've told me about the trump queen, so now let's go ahead and begin bidding kings up the line. There are other ways. If you want to use typical kings like you do in Blackwood, that's okay. If you want to use kings minus the trump king, some people like that, but a very common way is to bid kings up the line. And if you were able to watch the video that we had on Minerwood, we spoke about that in that situation. But we'll go into it some more here. Let's take a look at an example. One spade by ourself, four no trump by partner, 1430 style Blackwood, five spades. We have two with the trump queen, five no trump. We bid six of the lowest ranking suit, bidding up the line. If we have the club suit, we'll bid it. If we don't have the club suit, we'll bid the diamond suit. If we don't have the diamond suit, we bid the heart suit. And we don't have any of them, then we'll just go ahead and sign off in six spades. Now, this would be a little bit of a peculiar auction, wouldn't it? This is one where it goes one spade for no trump. Our partner is asking. We say we have two keys and we have the trump queen. I'm not sure why partner is saying, I want to sign off. They're, they're missing two and we showed two and the trump queen, I don't think this person should have been asking. But for illustrative purposes, you can see that this would be a sign-off bid. Okay, let's summarize with some Blackwood bidding tips that might be useful. Well, like regular Blackwood, first of all, just relax, take a breath, enjoy the moment. There's no hurry during the bidding process when you have 32, 33 points or more. So kind of try to be in the zone, take your time. And as, as far as the points, Evaluate, evaluate, evaluate. So take a look at your points. Do you have distribution points for length, for shortages? Do you have chances for roughing? Do you have chances for extra finesses, repeated finesses? Can you rough out a long suit, have a lot of entries to your hand, and then get a side suit promoted? Okay, how about the one who knows goes? 
So if you know you have enough to get to slam, then go ahead and bid it. You don't necessarily have to advertise a lot. If you have a long side suit and your partner has a long side suit, you, you may not want to show it if you're going to go to slam anyway. Imagine that you've got eight or nine cards in a side suit minor. Would you want an opponent to lead a four-card suit and have their partner rough it right there on trick one? So use a little bit of caution when it comes to having the requisite values. Don't bid the conventions just to practice. You can do that away from the table. So when it comes to the one who knows they have the values, go ahead, don't ask. Conversely, don't ask unless you want or need to know. So if something that you don't need to know, don't ask about those key cards. Don't ask about that trump queen. If you already have it, you have it, you don't, no reason to ask. Go ahead and start checking for the kings. With four keys and a trump queen, go ahead, bid that small slam. Conversely, if you don't have four keys and the trump queen, do not bid the small slam. And for the grand slam, with five keys and the trump queen and the requisite number of kings, lengthen the suits. Yes, bid your grand slam. So as always, thanks for coming to our lesson. I hope you enjoyed number 50, where we talked about the RKC 1430 style of Blackwood. Those of you with the free membership, you know what to do next. Come on over to part two, where we go through a lot of hands to get some hands-on skills on bidding 1430 style Blackwood. And those of you with the Ultra and Premium Memberships, yes, after viewing that, we'll have a lot more hands-on bidding and playing at the table to work on our skills. Okay, all, thanks for coming. I'll see you on the flip side. Bye for now.